I said something that I feel a responsibility for not leaving unexamined because my words upset so many people, which was never my intention. I don't understand how he could be that disconnected, how people around him didn't say to him, hey, listen, you know what? Maybe there's a better way to do this. They take pictures and then people say, Pfft. Uh, what is that? Well, you take a picture of Nelly. It looks like Whoopi Goldberg is facing another problem that could lead her to being taken to court and having to pay a lot of money. This situation might even result in her losing all the things she's worked very hard to achieve. Let's spill everything in today's video. But of course, before I say more, make sure first that you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more updates and videos like this. Now, let's dive in. Lately, there's been a lot of talk about country singer Jason Aldean because of a disagreement about his song, Try This in a Small Town. The matter was even discussed on The View, where Whoopi Goldberg and her fellow host shared their thoughts on it. People are criticizing Jason Aldean for the video of his song, Not Set in a Small Town. Whoopi mentioned on The View that the song's message was questionable. Her co-host, Joy Bear and Sonny Hostin strongly criticized the song on the show, calling it hurtful and bothersome. This upset many fans. Which critics are saying is racist. It's got lyrics, racist lyrics, and images. Now there's the news that Jason Aldean is taking legal action against Whoopi Goldberg and The View. After the show, a news source reported that Jason is planning to sue Whoopi Goldberg, Sonny Hostin, and Joy Bear from The View for saying he's racist. An article titled, Jason Aldean Files Defamation Suit Against Whoopi and The View, was published stating that Aldean is seeking $40 million in damage based on advice from his legal team. Jason Aldean's lawyer, Joe Barron, expressed that Whoopi should be accountable for her actions. If this is true, Whoopi might have to pay a significant amount of money. Since all the evidence is available online, it's possible she could end up losing a substantial sum of money. Jason Aldean files defamation suit against Whoopi Goldberg and The View. I am no racist is what Jason Aldean had to say. So country singer Jason Aldean is getting backlash for the video of his song, Not in a Small Town. Before, she has faced the threat of a lawsuit, and it's not the first time. A few years ago, Kyle Rittenhouse, a teenager who was cleared of charges after shooting and fatally injuring two men and hurting another during a protest against racism in Kenosha, Wisconsin, announced his intention to take legal action against Whoopi Goldberg. Speaking on the Fox News Channel show, Tucker Carlson Tonight, the young person from Illinois who was involved in the incident during protests over the police gunfire involving Jacob Blake shared that he and his team started the Media Accountability Project to raise money. Their goal is to go to court against both media organizations and individuals like Whoopi who spread false information about him. It had been reported earlier that Rittenhouse was found not guilty of all charges related to the gunfire that caused the demise of two men and the injury of a third person in Kenosha. He said, Right now, we're looking at quite a few politicians, celebrities, athletes. Whoopi Goldberg's on the list. She called me a murderer after I was acquitted by a jury of my peers. She went on to still say that, and there are others. In case you missed it back in 2020, Goldberg, who is the co-host of ABC's The View, had said, even all the excuses in the world does not change the fact that three people got shot, two people were murdered. To me, it's murder. I'm sorry. Whoopi's controversies have even made her suspended from ABC's The View after she made comments that the Holocaust was not about race. News of her suspension came from ABC News President Kim Godwin saying, effective immediately, I am suspending Whoopi Goldberg for her wrong and hurtful comments. Godwin wrote in a statement that was later posted on Twitter, While Whoopi has apologized, I've asked her to take time to reflect and learn about the impact of her comments. Megan McCain also shared her thoughts about her previous co-worker on The View and posted a statement on her Twitter account. I hate commenting on my old employer because I have moved in every way a person can move on, McCain wrote. That being said, I am an activist, and it is a big part of my life. Adding, the growing threat is real and virulent, and everywhere. I am heartbroken about what was said. Earlier, there were reports about an episode of The View where Whoopi made comments that lacked sensitivity. This happened during a conversation about a Tennessee school district's decision to remove Art Spiegelman's Pulitzer Prize-winning graphic novel, Mouse. 
which is about the Holocaust, because of concerns about inappropriate language and other content. Let's be truthful about it, because this isn't about race, Goldberg said. It's not about race. It's not about race. It's about man's inhumanity to man. Goldberg then issued an apology via Twitter and press release writing, I'm sorry for the hurt that I have caused. She also reiterated, the Jewish people around the world have always had my support, and that will never waver. I said something that I feel a responsibility for, not leaving unexamined, because my words upset so many people, which was never my intention. She received a two-week suspension from that statement. A responsibility for not leaving unexamined, because my words upset so many people, which was never my intention. However, the situation didn't stop there, as she repeated her words once more. It wasn't originally about race, Goldberg told a reporter for the UK's Sunday Times. Remember who they were killing. First, they were not ending racial. They were ending physical. They were ending people they considered to be mentally defective. And then they made this decision. In response, the reporter reminded her that Nazis used to measure the heads and noses of Jewish people to classify them by race. However, Whoopi argued that the same happened to black people. When she faced criticism again, she quickly apologized in a statement, this time claiming her words were taken out of context. She said, I didn't mean to sound like I was repeating hurtful comments. After talking to rabbis and friends, both old and new, who shared their thoughts about some rising problems, I realized my words were misunderstood. Many people were rightfully upset that it seemed Goldberg hadn't learned from her past mistakes. In her statement, she promised to learn from the criticism and acknowledged that the Holocaust was indeed about race. She also expressed her continued support for the Jewish people. Whoopi Goldberg has faced cancel culture before, which almost damaged her career. It's not surprising that she openly expresses her strong dislike for it, given her experiences. I don't ever think that I can make any decision for you and your family that you are not smart enough to make for yourself. The troubled celebrity shared her encounter with this societal trend in 2021 during the Edinburgh TV Festival. There, she strongly criticized cancel culture, emphasizing that the truth appeared less significant. Recently, Whoopi not only faced the risk of being canceled, but also narrowly avoided an early retirement because of it. During a conversation with Drew Barrymore, Goldberg talked about her experience of being canceled for making jokes about the president during a fundraising event. She also mentioned the difficulty she faced during that time, which included using up her savings. Listen, I got very, very lucky because I got into some trouble where I pissed off a politician. And then I lost everything, really, she said. Thankfully, the late news reporter Barbara Walters provided Whoopi Goldberg an opportunity to make amends by offering her a position on The View, where she continues to make contentious remarks. However, Whoopi's alleged hurtful comments about George Bush had more consequences than she expected. A seemingly harmless joke led to her losing a well-paying endorsement deal with the weight loss brand SlimFast. The brand decided to remove her from their advertisements due to backlash and the possibility of a boycott. Whoopi had to apologize to SlimFast customers for her words. She openly acknowledged her dismissal and expressed her disappointment at losing the job because of rumors. In July 2015, she stood up for Bill Cosby amidst numerous accusations against him. She stated that she believed he was innocent until proven guilty. In 2018, the Cosby Show actor was sentenced to three to ten years in prison for hurting and harassing Andrea Constan. However, this conviction was later overturned and he was released from prison after serving three years, which led to criticism. Whoopi changed her viewpoint when she appeared on ABC News. Speaking directly to the camera, she addressed Bill Cosby, saying, It looks bad, Bill. Additionally, she became involved in the hashtag OscarsSoWhite controversy in January 2020, when there was a discussion about the Oscars not adequately representing people of color. Whoopi shared her opinion that the award show wasn't about race, using her own experience of winning the Best Supporting Actress Oscar in 1991 for her role in the movie Ghost as an example. The issue is not the Academy, Goldberg said on The View at the time. Even if you fill the Academy with Black and Latino and Asian members, if there's no one on the screen to vote for, you're not going to get the outcome that you want. She added, I won once, so it can't be that racist. Her remarks generated significant criticism from the public, but clearly this hasn't deterred her. Adding to the usual situation, Whoopi genuinely believes that she has Jewish ancestry. That's all for today. 
We hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this.